Hello, welcome to our first Friday night of prayer and worship. We're here in Louisiana, but we're with you in heart. And this is a little London picture. We're in Cash's room at his grandma's house. And she actually got this like way before we even um, thought about St. Stephen's um, while we were still living in Dallas. So it's amazing how kind of God's had it on his heart for a long time. So we're going to go after God tonight. We're going to sing. We're going to pray. We're going to spend some time um, where I'll just play and we'll kind of give some prayer points to pray into. But um, our hope and our heart is that um, just as we gather with our families or by ourselves, just um, this would be an amazing time of refreshing, of capturing God's heart in the midst of all that's going on. We know that he's good, that he's faithful and that he has a plan and that our prayer, that we get to partner with his heart, that we get to pray for his kingdom to come in this situation. Um, you know, this isn't all just predetermined and, predetermined and planned out and we don't have anything to do with it. We get to battle with God to see yeah. his kingdom, to see his victory that he's already won for us on the cross. So it's going to be a powerful time. So, yeah. Yeah, and also below this video, there's a live chat section and we want to engage with you through this. So if there's something you sense that God is saying or um, something you'd like to share, maybe a word or a picture maybe just to share a prayer, um, please share it in that space so that we can agree together and we can pray into those things um, as a community. And so, yeah, we're really excited about tonight. Thanks for joining. Do you want to go ahead and pray? Yeah. Lord, we just thank you for who you are, for your goodness yes, and for your grace. And we just fix our eyes right now on your goodness. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, we just welcome your presence, God, into every home. We just thank you for your goodness, God. You are good. You are good. You're so good, God. The Father of lights. No shadow of change in you. Yes. You are good.
just take a moment and we're all being so impacted by what's going on in the world, but maybe you're facing something, um, maybe with your job or a family member or um, just anything that's, that seems so impossible right now to you. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to sing Hallelujah, Our God Reigns. And I want you to sing that over whatever situation is going on in your life. Um, and believe God for breakthrough in it. And believe that God is bigger. And let's just stir up our faith for a moment before we move on any further. And just let's declare together and know that there's a community behind you declaring this with you. That God reigns. He rules and he reigns over every situation. No matter how small it is, God, he rules and he's reigning in our lives. And, and yeah, let's just join and let's sing that together a few times.
and be the center. We just place you at the center of our families right now, God. Our jobs, our days, every part of our life, come and be the center. staying in that same posture of worship um, we do want to take some time as we you know, sing and worship together but we want to pray into some specific prayer points um, together as a community and so um, let's just for the next maybe three to five minutes um, we want to pray for the NHS we want to pray um, for the medical teams the doctors or you know, maybe you're tuning in from another country or, you know, from around the world and maybe you can pray for your doctors and your medical staff, but we want to lift up the medical field across the world right now, um, specifically that they would be protected um, for also for their families as um, they're leaving families behind to take care of, you know, everyone else's families. And so we want to lift their families up as well. And also, um, for testing and protective clothing to be rapidly increased um, for them as they're kind of on the front lines dealing with this sickness. And so, yeah, let's just together, Rich is going to keep playing, maybe have some prophetic songs come forth, or, um, but let's take a few moments and just in your own home, just begin to lift um, our doctors and nurses and medical staff up. joining together in prayer across the world. God, uh, we want to lift up here where we are in the, in the U.S., God. We're in Louisiana. God, I'm, I'm asking that you would break in. Lord, I pray that for our doctors and our nurses and the medical teams that are on the front lines, God, would you strengthen their bodies right now? Lord, we just speak Psalm 91 over them, that you would hide them under the shadow of your wing, God, that no plagues can come near them, Lord, that as they're dealing with this sickness, that they, they would be strengthened, God, and that they would walk in divine health. Lord, I, I thank you for them. Strengthen the work of their hands right now, God. And Lord, for their families, would you protect their families? Would you strengthen their families? as they are going through this time, God. And Lord, I just ask that they would have all the equipment that they need, whatever it may be, face mask or, or you know, any equipment, medical supplies, that you would provide everything that they need 
to care for those who are sick right now, God. I thank you for your provision, Lord. We just join in with prayers around the world right now as we lift up our doctors and our nurses and their families to you right now, God. And we're just asking you to break in. Break in, God. Break in over their lives right now. I pray that maybe even those who who don't know you, God, that they would experience you, that you're with them, that you're strengthening them, God. Thank you, God. higher than I. I'm just thinking of the NHS right now, who the rock of this nation, the doctors and nurses in America, who the rock of um, that nation that are supporting and saving lives. And even for them, I just pray that, Lord, you would lead them to the rock that is higher than them, to the rock of Jesus Christ, the unmovable, unshakable, unchanging, faithful and true. Yes, God. So let's just sing that chorus together. Lead us to the rock who is higher than I. Lead us to the rock. Lead us to the rock who is higher than I. Lead us to the rock. I'm just, I'm just reminded of, um, as we're singing about God's greatness, I'm just reminded of when it talks about Jesus and it says a um, smoldering wick he won't put out and a bruised reed he won't break. And just that, as we're singing about his majesty and his greatness, that God is so gentle and kind. Mm. Um, I've just been thinking about those who are vulnerable and lonely. As we were praying on Wednesday, I was reminded of... Um, that scripture that he puts the lonely in families. Mm. I have a sip of my pink water bottle. <laughs> um, and 
just been really drawn to Psalm 46. Um, so I'm going to read that. I'd love if we can then spend some time praying into that for people who come to our mind who are vulnerable, who we know, um, you know, maybe even for ourselves, maybe we're feeling a bit lonely in this time of isolation and we just ask for God's love to come and fill us. Um, so we're going to read this psalm out and then as I play, I might just start to sing bits of it. Um, that's quite a kind of a common thing to do in lots of prayer rooms and prayer sets is just to put the psalms to music. Um, and sometimes the, the repetition of it or even just going through it helps it kind of make the journey from our heads to our hearts really sink yeah. deep. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. So if you want to turn in your Bibles to Psalm 46, I'm going to read from the ESV. Um, so it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way. The mountains be moved into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations range, the nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come behold, the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Let's just take a minute, just going through that kind of piece by piece a little bit. So let's go to that, um, that first bit. God is our refuge and our strength, the very help in time of trouble. Though, therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble and it's swelling. So maybe you know someone right now and everything in their life seems to be shaken. I mean, all of us in some way, but maybe there's especially people who maybe lost jobs or for who have been really isolated because of this. So let's just take a few minutes to just lift them up in prayer. Just declare these, these scriptures over them that God is your refuge. God is yeah. your strength, a very present help in time of trouble. God is our refuge and strength, very present help in time of trouble. God is our refuge and strength, very present help in time of trouble. Yes, God. God is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength, very present help in time of trouble. So we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the sea. Uh oh 
earth gives way for the mountains we move into the sea we will not fear cause there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Your people even in the midst of this God. There's a river whose streams make glad the city of God. You fill us with joy. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. The habitation joy to your people you make glad the people of God the city of God yeah so maybe where you are even in the midst of this just begin to thank God that he makes us glad that he brings us joy even in the midst of trials that he gives us a sure and firm foundation to build on in the midst of us. God is in the midst of us. Working in and our waiting. God is in the midst of us. God is in the midst of us. Your plans are still to prosper. You have not forgotten us. You're 
us in the fire
any lost passion for Jesus. Revive any sense of um, ground lost and just to be an even greater sense of passion just stirring up within us for Jesus. Let's just take a minute, maybe just put your hand on your heart and just pray that God would fill you with a new passion, a renewed sense of his love for us, of his acceptance, of his grace and power in us. Let's end our time together just by singing this song just all about that, that God would stir a fresh passion in us this week. That I know for me, we've had a little bit more time to kind of rest and, um, yeah, we're six hours um, behind over here. So by, we start work quite early and kind of by the afternoon, we're pretty much done. So um, we've had a lot more time to kind of read and play with cash and be together but I don't just want that sense of rest I really you know I want that and I'm enjoying that but I also really want that renewed passion for yeah. God for time with him with Jesus so maybe that's your prayer too in the midst of it maybe you're even busier maybe you've you're feeling oh man I've got nothing to do but in the midst of that just ask that God you would come and be our centerpiece you would be yes. our passion God Stir a passion in my heart, God. Let it overflow. Let it overflow. Oh, stir a passion in my heart, God. Let it overflow. Let it 
Is our God sing with me? How great is our God? And oh, see how great, how great is our God. Yes, you are, Jesus. Thanks so much for being with us tonight and lifting up and exalting his greatness. And hopefully um, I've, had a, I've had a great time. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Until so, next week. Yeah. Join us again next week. Um, yeah. Have a great weekend. See you all soon.